Hello my friends, welcome to The Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here. Now thank you to all of those of you who have subscribed recently and even not so recently, but there's been a huge influx of subscribers recently, just within the last few weeks. Really exciting, really encouraging. As a result, I've decided to make three videos per day instead of the two that we are currently doing right now. Now, if we're able to double the number of subscribers we have right now, then I'll change that and go to four and start making this more of a full-time job. As it is right now, it does take up a lot of my time. So it's really great and really is rewarding to me when I see more people subscribe. Makes it worth me putting in the time to bring you this news and this information. So sources have apparently confirmed, apparently reliable sources have confirmed that Tesla is going to make a Model 2. It is going to come out in 2023, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. I was hoping it would be sooner. I was hoping that they'd get some sort of deal worked out with BYD so that BYD could assist them to manufacture a Tesla Model 2, which apparently won't be called the Model 2, like I said. But anyway, I can understand why BYD wouldn't want to do that. If I was BYD, I wouldn't do that. If I was BYD, I wouldn't make cars for Toyota either. I'll just be focusing on making my own cars. I believe, firmly believe, Tesla will become the world's largest automaker and BYD BYD will become one of the world's three largest automakers by 2030. There is good evidence, good science for why this will happen. This is not just a hoax. This is not just me saying, oh, I love renewable energy. I love electric cars. Therefore, BYD, therefore Tesla, therefore Neo, therefore whoever else you want to talk about. This is me basing this on battery capacity, the ability to produce the EVs that people want to buy by 2030 now, as well as in the future. BYD and Tesla have the means of production and will have more of the means of production on an ongoing basis. They're investing heavily and they're focused on batteries. They're not focused on ice as pretty much every automaker is currently, even, yep, even Volkswagen to some degree is still very focused on ice. That's hindering their electric car growth. No question about it. Now let's get on to the Tesla Model 2, which like I I said again, is it going to be told the Tesla Model 2? Even though I like the sound of that. Well, we know now it's going to cost 25,000 US dollars, which is fantastic news because if you look at one of the countries where it will be extremely popular in the United States, of course, Teslas are extremely popular. They take up 60% of the EV market in the United States. Now imagine if you could purchase a Tesla for 25,000 US dollars, but then you could use the rebate, the $10,000 rebate, bringing that purchase price down to $15,000. There is no chance that you would buy an inferior ICE vehicle if you could get an EV for less money. That will be very real scenario very soon. And remember, the base model Cybertruck, what are the most popular vehicles in the United States, right? Pick up Truck. Number one most popular vehicle in the United States. Tesla has 1.3 million pre orders for good reason. The base model will cost 40,000 US dollars. Add in the incentive, the $10,000 federal tax rebate, plus incentives in different states you can get on top of that, you're looking at you're looking at a maximum price of $30,000 for a pickup truck. That is going to go crazy and Tesla knows that's what's going to happen and that's genius. So the car, like I said, has been confirmed for 2023. And now apparently Elon has actually said to staff at Tesla that it's a $25,000 electric car. It's going to come out in 2023 and it won't be called the Model 2. And it won't have a steering wheel, or might not. I think that's ambitious, but I love ambition. If Tesla can bring this car out without a steering wheel, it's gonna mean that their full self-driving has to work, has to be 100% operational by then, by 2023. And if that is the case, that is fantastic news for Tesla, for others. To be honest, uh, there's a lot of average drivers out on the roads who are probably better off not driving, but I think an option would be better. What do you guys think? I, I think that it would be better have an option where you can either plug the steering wheel in and drive it, or remove it and not drive it. And I think that's more likely. I think it's more likely that Tesla will actually say, yeah, some people will still want to drive from time to time, but let's give them a choice. They can either drive or they can remove the steering wheel so they've got more space in the car and go to sleep. Honestly, I can't wait to be able to get into my car, get ready for the road trip, press start and go to sleep. I'm looking forward to that and I have been for years. So I'm excited for this technology. I'm excited for Tesla to really nail this technology and to see this out on the road, to see robo taxis everywhere because this is going to be really a good solution for everybody. And it's going to, this is going to enable so many more people to have cheap transportation, cheap, efficient, and smog-free transportation. This is really, really going to be a fantastic thing for everyone. It's going to bring down the cost of a taxi by an enormous amount. People are saying it's going to cost about one-tenth of the cost now for an autonomous taxi ride versus a taxi ride with a driver. What would you prefer? As always, I'm excited to know what you think about the Tesla Model 2 or the Tesla Not Model 2. Will this change 
the world for the better. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.